Here is an interesting question. Determine whether or not the three vectors P, Q and R are coplanar. If they are, express vector R as a linear combination of P and Q. So if R can be expressed as a linear combination of P and Q, then they are coplanar, right? So that is the strategy. So we'll try to express R as a linear combination of P and Q. That is to say, they will try to express R as equals to A times P plus B times Q. Now, if we can find values of A and B, then the vectors are coplanar. And if we can't, then the vectors are not coplanar, right? So let's try to see whether it does have a solution or not. So R is given to us as 7 minus 3 and 4. And A times P is 3 minus 1, 4, plus B times Q is 6 minus 4, minus 8. So that gives us A. So we'll combine these values. So we have <coughs> 3A plus 6B. And this is minus A minus 4B and Z value is the third component is 4A minus 8B. Now to have a solution 7 should be equals to each direction number should be equal right corresponding direction number should be equal. So each component we can equate and then solve for A and B. So we get three different equations from here which is 7 equals to 3a plus 6b and then minus 3 equals to minus a minus 4b and 4 equals to 4a minus 8b. Now we got three equations. We can solve for <coughs> a and b from two of them and then substitute the value in the third to check whether the solution is correct or not for all the three. We can follow method of elimination. So if I multiply this equation by let us say 4, then we can make these coefficients same and then add them up. So let me do that. So 4 times minus 3 is minus 12 and we get minus 4a minus 16b. And if we add them up, so we'll try to add them now. To solve the equation. So let me number the equations now. So we have equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. At this stage what we did was we multiplied equation 2 by 4 and now what we are trying to do is we are, so we got equation 4 now. Now we'll just add 3 and 4. So we'll add equation 3 plus equation 4. Thereby, we can eliminate A. So when we add, we get 8 equals to 16 plus 8, which is 24B, right? And that gives us value of B as equals to 8 over 24, which is 1 over 3. So that is the value of B for us. Now we can substitute the value of B in our equation number 2 and then find the value of A. Equation 2 is from here we can isolate A and we get A equals to so from equation 2 we get A equals to we're taking A on the left side and 3 on this side 3 minus 4B and B is 1 over 3 for us so 3 minus 4 times 1 over 3 which gives us 9 minus 4 over 3 that is equals to 5 over 3. So we got value of A as 5 over 3. Now we will substitute the value of A, 5 over 3, and value of B as 1 over 3 in the first equation and see if we get a solution or not, correct? If we get a solution, then we can show that R can be written as a linear combination of P and Q, otherwise it can't. So we have 3A plus 6B. 3 times a is 5 over 3, so 
So let's write 3a plus 6b and 3 times a is 5 over 3 plus 6 times b is 1 over 3. So if we calculate this amount, what do we get? 3 and 3 cancels, we get 5 plus 3 times 2 is 6, 2 and that is 7, that is true. It is equal to 7 as expected. Therefore, a equals to 1 over 3 and a equals to 5 over 3 and b equals to 1 over 3 works, right? And we can write vector r as a linear combination of p and q and it will be 5 over 3p plus 1 over 3q. Since we can write r as a linear combination of p and q, we say that r, p and q are coplanar. Correct? So that is how we will do these kinds of questions. It's a very important question. I will recommend you to go through it once again and understand the strategy. The strategy is that P and Q can span R only if all the three are in the same plane. Otherwise, they can't. Right? And since we have a real number for A and a real number for B, we can say R can be expressed as a linear combination of P and Q. And since it can be, therefore, R, P and Q, the three vectors, are in the same plane. Okay? Thank you.